I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday, April the 16th, brought to you in part by Vitalix. Not all tubs are created equal. Stretch your profits with every lick. Get the blue tub, your cows will love you. Been telling you guys that we were going to give away free tubs and you thought I was joking because we never had come across with it. We are offering uh, free tubs with Vitalix. Now the way you enter is if you're watching this video on the National Beef Wire, click on the banner ad of Vitalix there. Uh, the, 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 the graphic that has Vitalix, the ad there, click on that. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the Vitalix link in the description there. And you can go there to enter, guys. Going to be free tubs given away by Vitalix. Get the blue tub. Also, Beaver County Stockyards in Beaver, Oklahoma. Uh, runs are kind of whittling down, but they've got some offerings here, especially for the cow sale on Wednesday. About 1,500 on Tuesday. Uh, be 1,000 to 1,200 yearlings, mostly heifers. Got about 700 yearling heifers. They'll be offered mostly in load lots. Uh, the balance of the yearlings uh, will be steers and, and bigger steers there. Not a lot of calves in the deal, but uh, there is one load of those steers that's going to be stalker type steers weighing in the sixes. Uh, yearling steers, uh, stalker types ready to turn out. Couple loads, uh, a couple loads of eight weight feeders there. Uh, but on uh, Wednesday, and this will be the last of the two day sales uh, through the summer for Beaver County. They're going to go back to one day a week on Tuesday. Uh, but on the, this Wednesday special cow sale, uh, they're going to have the Griswold Sim Angus production sale. They got about 28 of those bulls uh, from the Griswold outfit and then got a lot of females, guys. 35 pairs coming on that deal. 60 open replacement heifers off the Griswold uh, deal. If you guys are looking for really, really top quality, that Angus with a little bit of Simmental in there for some more frames, what the industry's kind of looking for right now. Uh, it's going to be really nice. And then they're having uh, some additional consignments on top of that for Wednesday's sale. And uh, in addition to that, they've got another 150 nice black uh, open heifers, guys. Replacement quality. All the work's been done. They've had all their shots. They've been pelvic measured. They've been everything. They are ready to turn out, guys. And this is a good time to, to get in. And, uh, and then on top of that, they've got some other replacement deals, 22 red Angus pairs there, uh, five and six year old cows, 35 first calf heifers that are all black, 35 pairs young, four to eight years old, 25 black uh, first calf heifer pairs, uh, 100 bred cows. Uh, this is a pretty good deal there at Beaver County Stockyards. If you can't make it to Beaver, get on dvauction.com. Call the sale barn early. Tell them you want to be approved to bid. Good time to get in there on that. The big basis is erased. We were just talking just uh, just a couple sessions ago at the big basis. And of course, the basis is the difference between the cash price and the futures price. And we had our, our futures, you know, really tanked there uh, several days over the last couple of weeks. And, uh, and we were holding our cash markets up there pretty high. So we had a big basis, like uh, closer to $10 than anything else. Uh, and then we saw them kind of drift back a little bit closer. Well, now they've been all but eliminated. Uh, Monday, we saw the uh, cattle boards go up. Uh, we've seen the results of late last week's uh, uh, bearishness in your cattle market. So now our cash markets have gone down. And now we don't have much basis at all on live cattle compared to your uh, your April spot uh, live cattle futures month there. Uh, only three to three and a half dollars, which is nothing. On feeder cattle, it's only a dollar and a half. We've seen a plunging of our real-time index there. Uh, and uh, your CME cash feeder cattle index has dropped even more. So your April feeder cattle to spot month compared to your CME cash feeder cattle index only about a buck and a half difference, guys. And that's what we hate. Uh, and you've, you've heard me complaining about the, the funds tearing the board up and crashing it because they knew it was top heavy. Uh, they, were, they were along for the ride running it up. 
And even though our fundamentals haven't changed at all, now they're wanting to ride it back down because that's the only time they can make money is when that thing's moving. Uh, they don't care uh, that it destroys people's lives that are actually handling uh, the real cattle out there. And, and that's the last thing on their mind and probably don't think a thing about it, guys. Uh, but it's very frustrating to those in the cattle business uh, to see over $20 a uh, uh, hundred of their value of their cattle uh, go away that quick and for you guys that uh, that don't like the LRPs and you think they're too expensive uh, seven eight ten twelve dollar premium on an LRP uh, with the government kicking in about 35 percent of that looks pretty cheap when you've lost over 20 bucks uh, in just less than two weeks there but uh, you know we've got a cattle on feed report coming out uh, we just hope and pray it's not uh, bearish again. Um, but the cattle on feed estimates, the early estimates from the analysts uh, that guess are saying the inventories for April the 1st are at 102. It's unbelievable that we've still got more cattle on, or on feed uh, than what we did last year, even though we know the numbers are dwindling. But that's where most of the cattle are at. And then they back the kills up so much that it's backed those cattle up and and your packers have kind of got the leverage back on your feeders even though we've got uh record tight numbers of cattle uh at every every uh, stage of production uh but your placements at 92.1 percent that's quite a ways from a hundred percent uh for them to be guessing to make me comfortable i wouldn't disagree with that 92 percent but i'm at a whole lot Rather, the, the analyst said guess 95, and then we got 92, but, uh, but the marketings is what surprised me the most. 88.2% of a year ago marketed. Now, that shows you how much uh, they, have, they have dialed back these chain speeds, guys, and that's how come uh, we, we've suddenly started to see our fat cattle back up a little bit, and we've got more cattle on feed uh, for over 150 days than we've probably ever had even though we've got really really tight supplies of cattle uh, at all levels there but uh, let's talk about uh, one other thing I wanted to mention there is uh, for those of you in the Texas Panhandle uh, I don't want to shock you but uh, uh, we lost Jim Ferguson over the weekend uh, he had a motorcycle accident cost him his life Jim Ferguson was from Groover Texas active in agriculture and he was the leading uh, member of a group of investors that uh, put together Lone Star Stockyards in Will Dorado, Texas there. And going to miss Jim. And, and uh, while we're talking about Lone Star Stockyards, uh, try to remember if you're in the area, uh, which I am, on May the 10th in the evening, they are going to have a fundraiser at Lone Star Stockyards for the victims of the wildfires there in the Texas Panhandle. Uh, they've got a really good band showing up. Going to be auctioning off a bunch of donated items. Uh, they've got some uh, longhorn stock there, some rope and stock, saddles, things like that. And, uh, and also going to have food. And it's going to be a good time, guys. Uh, so check that on your calendar. May the 10th at Lone Star Stockyards, Will Dorado, Texas. Let's talk about your board on Monday to open the week. April live cattle futures up $1.40 at 180 30 June up 235 173.82, and all your back months were up big too, uh, which is, is uh, goes to measure because uh, late last week we saw them fall off even more than that, especially on Friday. But uh, your late months there uh, in your live cattle pits up 157 to up 237 Feeder cattle for April up 195 at 239.55. May was up 380 at 238. Back months on feeder cattle up 307 to up 427. Look at your grains. May corn was down four cents up 431 and a half. May beans down 15 and three quarter cent at 1158 and a quarter. And Kansas City hard red winter wheat for May down five and three quarter cent at 584 bushel. How about the weighted average on last week's negotiated fed cattle trade in your five area feeding region? Uh, in the five areas negotiated, we saw 57,000 head sell last week, which is very disappointing. Uh, six, that compares to 65,900 the previous week. 
73,400 the same week a year ago. Uh, talk about your live sales of fat steers and heifers in the five area. They range in price from 181 to 189. That's a wide price range and it's uneven from $2 lower to $2 higher. But if we went all the way down to what they had quoted, they had 70 head quoted at 170. Who the hell is going to sell good fat cattle at 170? They shouldn't even be reported. There was some kind of deal on there. Uh, they have auditors that are supposed to go in there, but they couldn't tell you why or even recognize that that was out of whack. But uh, why they do that, you know, what? even 70 head, why would you let those be in your weighted average there? Uh, that's frustrating. Your weighted average on live steers was 183.84, down a buck 89. Dress sales of fat steers and heifers in the five area range from 288 to 301. Uh, that was a fairly narrow spread for the dress sales, but it was very uneven as to trend from seven lower to three bucks higher. But your weighted average on dress steers was 293.09, down 378 uh, compared to the weighted average from the previous week. As a whole, your Northern Plains sold live cattle two to three lower from 184 to 185 for the most part, four lower dressed at 293. Southern Plains was mostly two instances, three dollars lower uh, than the previous week from 181 to mostly 182. Nationwide, we sold 64,900 head negotiated compared to 80,000 the previous week, 86,800 the same week a year ago. Of the 64,900, about 25% of those or 16,200 were for the two to four week delivery. Uh, negotiated grid sales last week totaled 45,200 head. Forward contracts have been really light here the last couple of weeks with uh, uh, people not liking what's going on there. 10,400 last week. And formulated sales always uh, pale everything else. 257,300 head of formulated sales right there. Of your four out of five areas that we get information from, Iowa sold 23,100 negotiated last week. Nebraska sold 17,700. Kansas sold 13,200. And Texas only 3,000 last week. Box beef cutout values were mixed on Monday. Choice cuts were up 31 cents at $300.88. Uh, select cuts down 420. Now we've got a choice select spread again suddenly at 291.34. Your slaughter started out the week uh, fairly good for the first slow as they're wanting to run them uh, anymore, but 121,000, that's exactly the same as the previous week and just 1,000 less than the same week a year ago. Talk about what else is going on. Specialty risk insurance, uh, they are committed to insuring all areas of agriculture, including a special team for LRPs. With 24-7 personal service, you don't get an automated uh, voice recorder or a robot, guys. You get somebody around the clock. For more information, go to SpecialtyRiskInsuranceAgency.com. Talk about your feeder cattle markets, your real-time index on DV auction based on an 800-pound cash auction steer up through your middle 12 states. Uh, late in the day on Monday, sitting at 243.13 down 45 cents from the end of last week. Like I said, your CME cash feeder cattle index plunged when they threw in those Friday sales all the way down to 241.07. Uh, your, uh, uh, don't forget about Kingsville. Remember they've, they've had three of those dispersals from the Circle A Angus farm there in mid-Missouri. This, and this coming Friday will be the last of those three and probably the best opportunity to get some really, really outstanding genetics in your herd. And as high as these uh, kill cows are selling and these bulls are selling, why not swap them out right now when it doesn't cost you a lot of difference there? You can really, really upgrade in quality, guys. This Friday, the 19th at five o'clock in the evening, uh, Kingsville is going to have the third and final of the Circle A dispersal sales. This is a closed purebred Angus herd since 1991. They're getting out. 
included in the sale on Friday at Kingsville Livestock Auction in Kingsville, Missouri is 108 breeding bulls. Uh, they'll have all the information on those. Lots of females, guys. 627 spring pairs. You're, that's right. You heard that right. 627 head of spring pairs. 100 of them will be 3-year-olds. 400 of them will be 4- to 6-year-olds. 127 head of them will be 7 years to short and solid mouth. And I talked to them around there and they said uh, of, of the preg checking that they've done, they can't believe uh, the percentage that are bred back. All these pairs are going to be three and ones. Uh, and you know, you can't find that everywhere, especially with the quality that they've got. There'll be 324 head of fall bred heifers, and they'll be top quality, easy calving. Uh, those bulls have a percentage of Wagyu in them. Uh, it, it's quite a deal. There'll be 225 head of fall pears. Remember, these are all three and ones. 150 of them would be three to six year old fall pears, 75 short and solid mouths. Remember, all the calves on these pairs will be one eighth Wagyu. Uh, they're averaging four to 450 pounds. That's giant for pears, guys. And they all have one round of shots in them. So, uh, you know, this is their opportunity to do this for what your, your old slaughter cows and your old wore out bulls are bringing. Get in there, get on to dvauction.com. Call, get a hold of them at Kingsville Livestock Auction. Tell them you want to be approved to bid on DV Auction. Get in that sale. The bulls are going to start it out at 5 o'clock p.m. there. Kingsville Livestock Auction in Kingsville, Missouri. Talk about your feeder markets on Monday. Oklahoma National Stockyards in Oklahoma City, 7,200 head for them. Uh, the feeders were about steady. Calves, 3 to $7 lower. As like we've been saying, most of your turnout orders uh, have been filled and in fact most of the cattle have now been turned out. Uh, your big uh, major grazing areas there in the Osage and the Flint Hills, they turn those out April the 15th so they'll be out there for 90 days now. Uh, talk about uh, your next big sale, Joplin Regional Stockyards in Carthage, Missouri, 6,200 head for them. Uh, the, the market was uneven. It was uneven uh, compared to what the uh, the market, the federal state market reporter called it. Uh, uneven compared to the guys that I talked to that were there, there the buyers. Uh, Jackie Moore, of course, the owner and manager there, he had a, uh, his own uh, version of what it was. And of course, they thought it was a little stronger. Uh, the, the market reporter called it mostly lower. and uh, But everybody said that it was fairly active at the lower levels. And they did have some new buying power that come in there, especially on the lighter weights, because they know they can find them at Joplin. Joplin's always got a good test of all weights of cattle in there. I did call it your National Beef Wire stick out sale of the day. And you guys use your own judgment there. I put the changes on the weighted average out there to the side. And to me, it looks like the calves were uh, mostly higher. Uh, and, and then those feeders were steady to some lower. Uh, this is reality, guys. If you haven't been paying attention to the market, it's still really, really good. It's not as really, really good as it was a couple of weeks ago. But uh, you look at this automated market report from Joplin Regional Stockyards. You see 696 head of four weight steers. The average 446 at 32103 on the weighted average. 826 head of five weight steers. Average 547 at 29486. That's pretty impressive, still, guys. 353 head of six weight steers. Average 641 at 27108. How about 334 head of seven weight steers? Where do you see a market that is this well tested throughout? 334 head of seven weight steers. Average 756 at 23859. 369 head of eight weight steers. Average 857 at 22247 and 309 head of nine weight steers in Joplin. Average 935 pounds with a weighted average price of 21158. Look at the heifers. 691 head of four weight heifers. Average 452 at 28918. 684 head of five weight heifers. Average 544 at 26216. 368 head of six weight heifers, average 637 
at 23289 and 558 head of seven weight heifers average 745 pounds with a weighted average price of 218.30. Now I'm going to give you some individual quotes from all around. Uh, actually, they're all in South Dakota. That's the hottest market right now. They got hot sales uh, from one corner of South Dakota to the other. Uh, I'm going to tell you about some of the hottest ones here on Monday. Sioux Falls Regional Livestock in Worthing, South Dakota, sells 66 steers, weight 721 at 283. They don't bring that most places. How about Faith Livestock Auction in Faith, South Dakota? 89 steers weighed 572 at $3.30 a pound. But the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Monday, your Macrosin, no BS, top quote for the day, come out of Aberdeen Livestock Sales in Aberdeen, South Dakota, was 89 steers weighed 618 pounds and bring 320. That's your feeder flash for Tuesday.